Hi there, Jamie Keat here today at Teachers Tech. Today I wanna to share with you an update between Google Meet and Google Classroom. You can see right here that inside this, Meet is now available inside Google Classroom. So this is gonna be a great way to help manage your online experience in talking with your students. So today on Teachers Tech, I'm gonna go through the setup, this, uh, setup of this and show you different ways that you could use this. So if you're new to Google Classroom or Google Meet, I do have tutorials on these and I'll put those links down below in the description and in the cart up above if you wanna dive deeper into those. So, but before you could always take a Google Meet link and put it in and share it into Google Classroom. I really like how this is in the settings now. Uh, in the prior bit, you can see how it just popped up and probably if you go to Google Classroom, it will pop up with the uh, indication that it's new, but you can just go into the settings now and you're gonna see this right here. We have our Google Meet uh, settings that we can adjust. At first, I need to make sure I can generate a Meet link. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this one. And now if you have this little drop down, you can see I can even reset this. And that's important to know that you can reset this or you can copy and send it out too. So I'm gonna make this visible to the students. And I'm also gonna show you the student view to make sure you understand what they're seeing too. But I have the visible to the students. I'm just gonna hit save on it like this. And I'm gonna go back to the classroom. What you see now, now generally you just have the class code where you get students in. Now you have this meet link right here. So it's a great way when they're gonna go into the classroom, they can uh, click on that and uh, see, uh, you know, just quickly get into that link. Now I'm gonna go over to the student view to show what they see. On the right hand side right here, this is the student view and you can see there's a link that they can click on to meet because of my settings on the left hand side. This is my teacher view in the settings. I have it visible on. So that's what this little switch when it's turned on, they get this and theirs and you also get this in your classroom. So if they were going to go ahead and join. They're getting ready for it. You can see that now this would be the student joining. I'm, I haven't even started. So remember, if you don't want the students in there before you start, don't make the link visible. So what I mean by that is just switch this off and then they won't have the link. When you're ready to start your meeting or maybe there's a certain time, you make it visible so they can join there because that link is created for every Google Classroom that you have and you can manage it differently that way. And just for another tip, if you want to make sure uh, make sure that everybody leaves the meeting when you're done make sure you're the last one there so those are just some tips uh, man helping you manage your meeting on it but this is kind of a this is a great update I think to help manage everything in one place to have those links and like I said it creates your uh, it creates your link for each class on it so I hope you like this tip today uh, I do weekly tech tips here at teachers tech thanks for thanks for watching this week I'll see you next week on, with some more tech tips and tutorials